Laura Ray and I'm doing a very different video. This video is a 30 day video. And the question I ask myself is, can I change my skin in 30 days? Can I see any improvement? Most dermatologists, I've gone to dermatologists my whole life, they will say to me, give it three months. That's usually what they say before I would see any kind of turnaround. But I would always see some improvement even within a month to, that would motivate me to want to keep going. So what I'm doing is sort of a glow up for my skin. Some of you know, about a year ago, I bought an Omnilux and basically it sat in the box for so long. Sometimes I just get things and then I think about it, do I really want to do this? And then of course, we've heard so much about the benefits of red light. So finally, I broke it out maybe uh, two weeks ago and started using it. And I can already start to see differences. And even a couple of you have asked me in recent videos, are you doing something different with your skin? That's another thing that made me think maybe I need to document what is happening with my skin. So red light is one component that will be part of changing my skin. I'm going to use the red light uh, two to three times a week. Every other day, I think, is what I'm going to go with. Every other day with red light. Now, another thing that I've loved for so long is my gua sha. I've done videos about gua sha, and it's been a part of my life for at least three years, maybe four now. Some of you ask me about that, too. There have been times I've gotten away from it when my mom was sick uh, with cancer and then passed away. I just was in no mood to do anything like that for myself, for my skin. I was just too down. And so I've gotten back to that. That's going to be part of the routine. Now, eye cream. I recently did a video about tight eye. And tight eye has made, not tight eye like a t-shirt, but tight eye has made a real difference. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I just think it's made an incredible difference in my under eyes. So that's going to be part of my 30 day routine. Let's talk about the actual skincare I'm going to put on my skin. I haven't used vitamin C in a long time. I feel that it can be irritating at times to my skin, but I'm going to give it another go. I have a vitamin C from uh, Numbuzzin that I'm going to be using that they sent me a long time ago and I just never used it because I was afraid I would break out or have a reaction to it. But I'm going to put that into my routine. I'm also putting in the six peptide skin booster. I've been using this recently and I think it's fantastic. Of course, I'll use sunscreen. I'll be showing you in the video some of the different sunscreens that I try. As far as anything with an A product, I'm going to stick with my natrium. I really like that. I'll use that a couple of times a week at night. And then I'm going to be wearing frownies again. I have these frownies sitting in a box and I think they're great. They really do get me to not move my face around, not move my uh, muscles when I sleep. And when I wake up and take them off, I feel like, wow, the lines do look a lot better. So I'm looking to work on this line right here in the middle. I have a lot of deeper expression lines in the forehead that I want to see if I can improve. And of course, besides the tight eye, I'm hoping that the red light will help the lines around my eyes and also around my lips. I've never even smoked a cigarette in my life or taken any kind of drugs. And I still have some fine lines here underneath the lips and up here. And so I'm hoping the red light will help with that. So that's my plan for the next 30 days. And I'll sort of apply the products that I've just spoken about so you can see me putting it on my skin. I'm putting on my sunscreen and I thought we would talk a little bit about how my skincare journey is going. It's been a little over two weeks now and I've been using the red light every other day 
At first, I felt like it was such a burden to have to do it, and now I actually look forward to it. I just close my eyes, I lay it down on the bed, I play some music and relax and just sort of breathe and take a moment to reflect. And it's only 10 minutes, so it goes by really quickly. I am noticing some differences in my skin, and I think it's actually the exercise that I'm doing, the rebounding. That is supposed to be so amazing for lymphatic drainage, and I just feel like it's really helping my skin look better. I just look healthier. So we don't often think of exercise as part of skincare, but it really is. So I think that's pretty interesting. Also, I have been putting on the natrium. That seems to be working great. I believe I could up it to uh, the 0.1. I use the 0.5 of the natrium. I've also been using the Dermalect, their overnight serum. I love that too. I think that looks really good. Now we say, how can you see skincare changes in just a couple of weeks? And I would agree with that long-term as far as deep wrinkles and things like that. But I do feel like my skin looks a lot fresher. And I really believe it's from the exercise and the red light. I am doing the gua sha, but not every night. Some nights I'm just tired and don't do it. So I feel that the frownies too are making a difference. When I first wake up, my forehead looks amazingly smooth. It hasn't looked that way, I don't think, ever. I mean, I had lines when I was a teenager just from being so expressive and raising my brows like this, then I get these lines here. So I've done this all my life, and those frownies really force me into not lifting my brows. So I feel like my forehead looks smoother in the center. I still have some lines here, and I'll just keep using the frownies. I missed one night. Otherwise, I've been wearing them every night. So I'm really happy. I think my skin is looking pretty good. And I just put on my Elena Mitchell. I always said her name, Alana. It's actually Elena, I heard her say, so I apologize. But... This looks beautiful. I'm putting together a sunscreen video, so I came in here to start working on that. But I feel like I'm making progress, and that's what it's all about, is just going in the right direction. It's been 30 days, and I do see differences. I'm very excited about that. I found, too, that for myself, setting a 30-day deadline really helped me. It helped me to stay more focused on my skin and truly observing it, uh, looking for results, was very helpful. Of course, I'm always looking for those things, but most of my goals I've set for myself in the past have been for several months, six months, a year. So I found setting that 30-day limit really was helpful for me at least. Let's talk about the red light. I know the red light's making a difference. The fine lines around my lips, and I'm not putting anything else around there, right above the lip here, are almost gone. So that really makes me so happy because I've had issues in the past few months with lipstick, almost going into those areas. I always have to make sure I'm wearing a lip liner. Otherwise, that's going to happen with many of the products I use. That is no more. They really have diminished here. I can't even really see anything anymore. So that makes me extremely happy. I wasn't expecting that. My skin, to me, looks smoother. Now, one thing that is much smoother is the middle of my forehead. I've always had lines in my forehead, even when I was younger, from just making these expressions that I make. Well, wearing the frownies, I think, has been such a game changer because I'm not making those facial expressions while I'm sleeping. And where I've noticed the most is the line in the center that's always bothered me and also in the center here of the forehead. I still have some from where I raise my eyebrows, I make lines here, but the center has really smoothed out. 
I did miss wearing the frownies maybe three nights over the 30 days spread out, just things going on, and I just was exhausted and went to sleep and didn't put them on, but I'm really used to wearing them now. I like them now. At first, it bothered me a little bit. I found it distracting at times when I was trying to go to sleep, but now I'm just so used to them that I've gotten over that, and I think they work great. I'm going to continue with the red light and frownies. I will give you updates as I do my regular videos. I'll just do a little quick update so you'll know what's going on, but I'm thrilled with it. Now, Gua Sha, I really have not been loyal to just because I have just been really busy in those 30 days. So I am going to work more on that. I feel it is effective. I feel it is helpful. But also what I'm doing with my changing my body using a rebounder, I think has helped a lot with lymphatic drainage, which is what the Gua Sha is also for. So I think that's why I haven't been as eager to reach for my Gua Sha tool because I am doing the rebounding. On Monday, I'll be posting how I've changed my body in 30 days and my results. And it's really interesting, I think. So I hope you'll watch it. But the rebounding has helped a lot with my skin. I think part of why my skin is improving and looking better is the fitness program that I'm following. I love the Peptide Skin Booster. I'm gonna continue with that. I think it works beautifully on my skin. Also the tie-dye, I'm wearing that right now. And I think my eyes look so much better on the corners. When I did my video about this product, Many of you noticed what I felt, which is on the sides, my skin has gotten a little droopy as it's falling down and I get a crease on the sides of my eyes. And when I wear the tight eye, that crease tends to be flat. So I'm thrilled with that. I'll continue with that. Vitamin C isn't irritating my skin anymore. So I've been using that and I think over time, I will reap the benefits of that. It's great for collagen. It's great for getting rid of discoloration in the cheeks. So I will definitely continue with that. Sunscreen, I'm always diligent about. I have found some sunscreens I'm really falling back in love with and some new ones over the last 30 days. I've been trying several and I'll have a sunscreen video coming up soon. Right now I'm wearing the Color Science. I repurchased this. I bought it a long time ago and I find it looks great on my skin in place of wearing foundation. This is a tinted sunscreen with a sunscreen of 50. I just think it looks great. It gives me enough coverage. I'm about to go out to the grocery store. So I find on days I'm just running out, running errands, or even if I had a meeting or somewhere to go, I would feel really confident just wearing this sunscreen. Natrium, I stepped it up. I bought the 1%. I've been using the 0.5. I think it's fantastic. When I used the higher percentage, I got no irritation, no breakouts, no rash. So I plan on continuing with that so I can maybe get even a little better results with my pores looking better and my fine lines. I do love the new Merit Moisturizer. They sent that to me. I love the texture of it and it's not too thick, not too thin. So anytime I feel like my skin's a little dry after the natrium at night, I will put on the Merit Moisturizer and that's been working really well. Let me share some lessons that I've learned over the past 30 days. One is don't quit on yourself. Take a moment, think about what you're doing. What can you change that you can do at home that will be effective? And then just stick with that for 30 days. It's all about consistency in anything in life. And I found that that was so helpful with my skin. There's so many things that affect your skin, working out, your diet. So there's so much more to it than a red light or a skin cream or those kinds of things. But if you've already got those in place, 
then I think simple tweaks with your skincare routine can really pay off. It's paid off for me, especially the red light. I think that and the frownies are making the biggest difference right now. So I'll continue doing those, sharing with you my results. But I'm glad that I did this. It gave me a real boost that I needed. When I watched what I filmed at the beginning for the video, I felt like, wow, I just looked so down and so sad. And after these 30 days, I feel like a new person, especially from the workouts, which I will share in the Can You Change Your Body in 30 Days. Doing the workouts and the skincare have had a profound effect on me emotionally and given me a real boost. And I feel like I'm actually getting my spark back. Share in the comments if there's anything that really resonated with you that I spoke about in the video. We can share with each other, motivate each other. Everything that I talked about in the video will be linked in the description of the video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate and love you all so much. Have a blessed week. I'll look forward to seeing you real soon.